Hi. If you want to learn how to earn money in the, in the Forex market without actually having to do doing the trading yourself, then listen up because I'm going to tell you how you can do that. Hi, my name is Wendy Muller and I'm from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, and um, I'm here to share some information with you about the Forex market. You've probably heard a lot about Forex trading and the Forex market recently, and you might have wondered, you know, what are people talking about? Well, stay tuned because I'm about to share some information with you and um, it'll be uh, some basics of trading, what it is and, you know, should I do it? Would it just be something that would fit for me? So foreign exchange is commonly known as Forex and it's the, the largest financial market in the world with more than $5 million traded every day. The foreign exchange market is where currencies are traded and currencies are important to most people around the world, whether they realise it or not because currencies need to be exchanged in order to conduct, to conduct foreign exchange, uh, foreign trade or business. For example, if you were living in Australia like me and you wanted to buy some cheese from France, either you or your company would buy the cheese um, and you'd have to pay the French for the cheese in euros, which is the French currency. This means that the Australian importer would have to exchange the equivalent of Australian dollars into euros. The same goes if you're traveling. For example, if a French tourist was in Australia and they they're not able to pay for things in euros to see things like the Great Barrier Reef. And um, they would have to first exchange their euros for the local currency with the Australian dollar at the current exchange rate. Um, and so why are people uh, choosing to invest in the Forex market? There are actually um, quite a lot of different reasons, but I'm wanting to share with you my top five. So please listen up and I'll share. So number one, the Forex market it never sleeps. It works 24 hours a day and it goes for five and a half days per week. Therefore, at any point in the day, you can find an active pair to trade. And I'll let you know what an active trade is and an active pair. Uh, so stay with me. I'll share with you that shortly. Um, number two, the Forex market is enormous and therefore it's actually very liquid by nature. So an asset is said to be liquid if it is easy to sell or convert into cash without any loss in its value. So high liquidity actually means that traders can trade with any currency. Number three, you don't need a big investment to start and you can continue trading. Um, you can start trading on the foreign market. You can open an account with less than $100 with some online Forex brokers. Uh, number four, another attractive aspect of Forex is leverage. So leverage in Forex is the mechanism that allows you to control a large amount of money using very little of your own capital. This gives you the opportunity to make considerable profits from small movements in the market, which is pretty exciting actually. And the Forex market is very accessible with technology these days. It means that pretty much anyone can trade if you've got access to the internet and a mobile phone or laptop. So to take advantage of the profits you can make in the foreign Forex market, it's important that you do a number of things and you need to understand number one, what the foreign exchange market and Forex trading are, which we have just discussing. Number two, learn how to choose a broker. If you decide to go ahead. Um, I do have another option and I'll share that with you at the end. And number three, how to conduct basic technical analysis and understand some of the key terminology. So, and so you can impress all of your friends. Uh, I'm going to share some information with you about one of the fascinating technical chart systems. It's called the Japanese candlestick charts. So I'll share with that, share that with you in a few minutes. So there are a few key things to understand if you decide to invest in the Forex market. And like I said, there are a number of key ter terminologies and I, I don't want to go into all of those now. I just wanted to share a few of them with you. But um, the first one is a currency pair. This is actually the term used to name the products traded in Forex. The currency pairs compare the value of one currency with, an, with the value of another currency. For example, the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Uh, a pip. This is actually short for percentage. So it's the smallest unit of measure of a price change in the Forex pairs. So most currency pairs are quoted to four decimal places and the pip change is the fourth decimal point. So therefore a pip is equal to point 0 0.0001 or one basis point. Uh, and number three, another key terminology, uh, key term is a buy limit order. So what this is, is an order to purchase at or below a specified price, allowing traders to control how much they pay. So if the trade doesn't reach the specified price, it's not, it is, it's not filled and you might then miss out on the trading opportunity. So I know that that's quite a lot of information. Um, I have so much more information if you're, uh, if you're interested. Um, but I also wanted to just make sure that you know that if you are considering opening a Forex trading account, the first thing you must can do is consider what type of broker you might want to manage your Forex transactions. So there are actually three types of 
brokers, which are number one, a DD or dealing desk broker. These are actually the ones to avoid. And um, I'll do some um, more videos um, soon about how to choose a broker and why you would choose particular types of brokers. Uh, number two is the NDD, SD. P broker. So that's the non-dealing desk straight through processing broker. And number three is the NDD STP ECN broker. So these are the non-dealing desk electronic communications network broker. These are actually the preferred option. Um, like I said, please tune into a future video and I'll share with you what the differences are between those brokers and um, why you would choose the particular ones that you would choose. Um, and of course, I wanted to just, uh, as I mentioned before, share with you um, what a Japanese candlestick is so you can just impress your friends that you know all about um, and lots about Forex. So Japanese candlesticks are actually a technical analysis tool that traders use to chart and analyze the price movement of securities. So traders can use the uh, candlesticks to identify patterns of price action and they make decisions on the short term direction of those prices. So hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, I know it is a lot to learn. And like I said, I know it is a lot to take in. And I actually, I felt the same when I first started learning about Forex. What I found though, um, is that there's lots of stuff to access online and there are a lot of companies around, a lot of resources. But what I chose to do is I have, um, I've been involved in, and I'm involved in an opportunity where I can actually make daily income online through trading. Um, this training is done by professional um, traders whilst I, whilst I learn and, um, and once I do know how to trade, then I can, then I can do that myself. So I'm earning some income while I'm, you know, while professional traders are trading for me. So for me, that's fantastic, but you might want to just absolutely just get in there and, and learn it all yourself and start trading. So I put um, a link down below, just please click that link if you'd like to learn more or reach out to me on Messenger um, if you have any questions. I'd really love to chat, love to get to know you, um, love to share Forex. It's a really, really exciting thing. Um, I would say a disclaimer, of course, that trading on the global Forex market is risky, so please only trade money you can afford to lose. No trade results can be guaranteed in any type of trading activity. And um, yeah, I hope that that was of some value to you. It's been really lovely to chat and I hope to talk to you again soon. Okay, thanks, bye.